Okay, so even if you know how to add and subtract fractions, you're going to want to watch this video because what I'm going to show you is another way where you can add and subtract fractions where you don't have to deal with the lowest common denominator. And this uh, very well may be the best math shortcut I know. Now, I'm going to explain to you why this is such a great and powerful trick. But uh, before I do this, I'm going to see if you can actually do this problem without the aid of a calculator. And what we have is 3 over 7 or 3 7 plus 2 thirds. And if you could do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to show you this powerful math trick that you're definitely going to want to know. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 3 over 7 plus 2 thirds, really basic stuff. Hopefully you have the right answer. As a matter of fact, this is the correct answer, 23 over 21. And uh, this fraction here is what we call an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the, the denominator. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of adding basic fractions. Now, I'm going to assume that most of you actually uh, found the LCD, which is the lowest common denominator to uh, add these fractions. But uh, some of you may have done this another way. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add these fractions using the LCD. Then I'm going to show you this very, very powerful trick that works not only with numbers, but in algebra as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. And uh, people do not like fractions. At least that's been my experience from uh, decades of teaching math, including myself, because it's a little bit of a hassle. And when you have to add and subtract fractions, then everyone starts to panic. They're like, oh no, I have to find the LCD. I don't want to do that. Well, this particular problem is actually pretty easy to find the LCD. So let me ask you here, for those of you that uh, know how to add and subtract fractions, what is the lowest common denominator? All right, so hold that in your head for one second, but let's talk about why you need the LCD. Okay, so just to be, uh, you know, just a quick review for some of those, uh, some of you out there that may have forgotten, what is the parts of a fraction? Well, the top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. Now we can't add or subtract fractions unless these bottom numbers are the same. So for example, if I had like one fifth plus two fifths, I can add these uh, fractions together because the denominators are the same uh, value. Now, how do we do this? Well, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is add the numerator. So one plus two is three, and we just put that over five. So the answer is three fifths. Now, that's what we uh, hope to be able to uh, do when we see fraction problems, when we're adding and subtracting. But of course, all fraction problems are not this easy. So when the denominators are not the same, like in this particular example, we have to find a common denominator, okay, a common denominator. And specifically, we want to find the lowest common denominator. Okay, so what is the LCD? We have 3 7 plus 2 thirds. Well, the LCD here happens to be 21. Now, how you find the LCD, this is a whole separate topic in and of itself. But uh, basically, you can, you can kind of think of it uh, the LCD as the lowest number that both of these numbers divide into, right? So if you're thinking to yourself, all right, let me see here, uh, 21, let's see, uh, uh, that could be divided by 7, and 21 could also be divided by 3 without a remainder. All right, so that is the LCD, but what do we need to do with the LCD? So again, when you are adding and subtracting fractions, okay, and the denominators are not the same, you have to find this LCD in order to do the problem. Now, some of you might be saying, uh, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is a very easy problem. I don't need your little shortcut. Well, hold on one second. 
what if I made the denominators like uh, 70 and maybe this one like 39? Okay, well, then this would get more interesting. Uh, then I could just say, well, let's make these denominators 705 and this one 392. And at this point, a lot of you are going to be like, I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with this. And this is precisely why people do not like fractions because problems can get pretty interesting pretty quick. All right, but um, again, how you find the LCD, kind of the procedure, we're not going to go into in this particular uh, uh, video. But if you want to know more about fractions, I want to leave you with some uh, great suggestions. But let's go ahead and continue on here. So what do we do with the LCD? Well, we need to rewrite these fractions such that the denominators both have 21, or, or both of the denominators are 21. So we have to rewrite these fractions. And the way you do that is we're going to turn these respective denominators into 21. So how can I turn a 7 into 21? Well, easy. I just multiply by 3. But if I'm going to multiply 7 by 3, I also have to multiply this numerator by 3. But I come up with a new fraction, and that is 9 over 21. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 7 is 21. Now, this fraction and this fraction, they are, um, they are equivalent. So you didn't break anything because you multiplied uh, the numerator and denominator by the same value. All right, so let's go ahead and use that same um, approach to fix this uh, fraction up here. So we have 3 in the denominator. We want a 21. So how can I turn a 3 into a 21? Easy. Multiply it by 7. And, uh, of course, I need to multiply the numerator by 7. So you're going to get this new fraction here, 14 over 21. Okay, so now we are in good shape to add these fractions because we finally have the same denominator. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, pretty simple now because we have the same denominator. All we have to do is add the numerator. So 9 plus 14 is 23, and this, of course, will be 23 over 21. All right, so this is basically how you add and subtract fractions. Now, this is what we call an improper fraction. I could turn it into a mixed number fraction, but as long as your uh, fraction is fully simplified and reduced, then you are good to go. Okay, so this is a little bit, you know, of work in order to do this problem. And again, this is why, you know, people would be like, yes, uh, show me the shortcut, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, I'm going to show you that shortcut right now. But before I show you that, I'm going to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. So I've been on YouTube for a good 10 years. I have well over 2,000 plus math videos from basic math to advanced math and calculus and everything in between. My mission on my channel is to try to make learning math as easy as possible, teach it in a clear and understandable manner, and reach as many people that need assistance in mathematics. My, what I'm really most passionate about is helping people not give up on math. There's so many students, unfortunately, that are not getting adequate math instruction. So what I want to do is really reach as many people as I possibly can. And by you subscribing, it really does help that um, YouTube algorithm push my content out. And I look at each subscriber kind of as my, uh, like a student, if you will. Okay, so anyways, I have a lot of subscribers. Matter of fact, right now, I think I have like 900,000 uh, 509,000 plus uh, subscribers. So that's crazy, but each one is important to me. Okay, so if you, do, if you do subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. Okay, so let's get back to this problem. And now here is this awesome shortcut. Now I have a name for it, and that is the bow tie method. So I'm going to draw a little stick figure here. And if you don't know what a bow tie is, I'm going to kind of draw one right there. That is a bow tie. Now, some of you might be saying, I bet you you wear a bow tie, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, no, I do not, but I think they're still pretty cool. I would consider wearing one, but I don't wear uh, too many ties in what I do these days. But anyways, that is a bow tie. Now, why am I calling this the bow tie method? Because I'm going to be using a pattern that resembles a bow tie. You can kind of see it uh, right here. Okay, now you have to do uh, uh, this method in the exact order I'm going to teach you. Okay, so if you do this out of order, you will get this wrong. Okay, so I'm going to add these fractions. This is the same problem, and I'm going to do it without finding the LCD. And you're going to be like, wow, this is amazing. Okay, so here is the pattern. We're going to start uh, with the denominator to the right, bottom right, okay, right here. Okay, you're going to start with this denominator, and you're going to multiply across this way, all right? So 3 
times three. This is what you're going to do. You're always going to start in this order. So you're not going to start from here to here or here to here. Okay, you're going to start from the bottom right. You're going to multiply this way. Okay, so three times three is what? It's nine. Okay, so I'm going to write that nine right there. And what we're doing with these diagonals here is forming the numerator. Now, because this is an addition problem, we're going to put plus, and then we're going to multiply across this way. All right, so 7 times 2 is what? That's 14. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9, plus 7 times 2 is 14. That is the numerator, so we're going to put a fraction bar, and then we're going to finish up by multiplying across to get our denominator. 7 times 3, of course, is 21. Now, look at what happens. 9 plus 14 is 23 over 21. This is the exact same answer as this right over here. Okay, but we did this without, um, you know, having to even think about uh, the LCD. We just kind of 1, 2, 3. So this is an absolute must-know um, uh procedure, shortcut, hack, whatever you want to call it, because this works in algebra as well. This is really, really important. So for example, what if I had uh, x over y plus z over w, and I said add these two fractions together. Maybe you didn't even know algebra, but if you remember this bow tie method, you might be saying to yourself, well, do I go like this times this? w times x is wx in algebra. And I go this way, okay, so y times z is going to be plus y times z. So this is our numerator over uh, y times w, which is y w as uh, the denominator. And indeed, this is the correct answer, okay? This bow tie method is absolutely powerful. There's only one slight drawback, okay? And that is sometimes when you do this method, you may not get a fully simplified fraction, so you may have to reduce your fraction. But that is the only drawback. But um, this still doesn't mean that uh, you don't have to know about the LCD or um, because this is really important as well. Uh, you have to know how to find the LCD, what it is, uh, because you use that in algebra as well. Okay, so a couple of quick suggestions here. I'm going to leave a couple of links. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave a few uh, links in the description of this video. Uh, one is going to be to my Math Foundations course, okay? That is like a basic arithmetic boot camp, basic math boot camp. It's a small little mini course, three chapters. Uh, you can check that out. I'm also going to leave uh, links to my main courses, pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, algebra 2, uh, and pre-calculus, because right now, uh, for the next week or so, I am running a sale, 50% off sale. I run this maybe uh, once a year, so this is going to expire November 10th, 2023. So if you're watching this video beyond that, uh, you know, just follow my channel and occasionally I run these kind of sales. But right now, if you want to take advantage of that sale, uh, that is a great course. And I teach fractions also in my pre-algebra course. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's fine as well because I have a ton of fraction videos on my YouTube channel that you could take advantage of. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.